Hey guys, exciting news coming your way on all you need to know about BTS's newest live concert, Bang Bang Con The Live. Do you all remember Bang Bang Con in April? They streamed previous concerts on YouTube for two straight days during the weekend and all ARMY fans were able to watch and enjoy the concert from their homes. Well, this coronavirus is not going away, and many fans are eager to watch BTS perform, especially with the new title on that was released on February. If you have watched Bang Bang Khan, you will have heard BTS saying that they will see us soon through a live concert, along with the message that BTS will be back to ARMY's room in June. Well, they kept their promise and announced that they are doing a concert, an actual live concert, and how? Through a paid streaming service, so we do have to buy tickets. The concert is called Bang Bang Khan The Live and it will be streaming for about 90 minutes. Bang Bang Khan in April has set multiple workers in how many people were watching at the same time, how many army bombs were connected at the same time, how many regions were connected and many more. Just think about what records will be set for a concert that is actually going to be performed live, I can't imagine. Now for the stuff that you came for. I wanted to show you guys all you need to know from purchasing tickets to watching the concert and what happens after the concert when the live concert is over. First of all, Bang Bang Khan The Live will air on June 14th, Sunday on 6pm Korea time. So here is a list of time zones for most other countries or you can simply just google it to see what time it is in your time zone. In order to purchase a ticket, you must install the Weaver Shop app. If you have Weavers, you can click on the Bang Bang Con The Live icon and it will take you to the Weavers Shop app. Or if you don't have Weavers Shop installed, go ahead and install it. Once you open Weavers Shop, you will be able to see the Bang Bang Con The Live icon on the main page and once you click on it, you will see two options. If you are a Global Army member, you can choose the 26 US dollar option and if you are not, you can still purchase this ticket at 35 US dollars. If you sign up for the Global Army membership, it is 30 US dollars, which you can purchase through the same app. Whichever you choose, you will be sent to the next page where it shares details on the concert before you make the actual purchase. You have to purchase the tickets before the actual airtime of the concert, which is June 14th, Sunday on 6 pm Korea time. People purchasing this live tickets get a live emblem and an email of an online ticket for Bang Bang Con The Live one day after the concert, so you can keep it as a souvenir just like an actual concert ticket. And the purchase must be done through PayPal or Exim Bay with a credit or debit card. Once you purchase the ticket, you will be able to log in to the concert streaming service at concerts.kiswe.com and you must log in with the ID and password that you use to purchase the tickets in the Weaver's Shop app. Once you are logged in, you can view from 6 multi-view screens of your choice and they are providing 4 subtitles options, English, Korean, Japanese and Chinese. Multiple viewing resolutions are selectable to suit your internet speed, supports Mac, Windows, iPhones, Android, Chrome, Safari, Firefox or Edge browsers, so please do check if you have the latest versions installed. And most importantly, with one purchase, you can log into two devices. Yes, not one, but two devices. So for our friends who are short on money, two friends can chip in to buy one ticket and you both can watch it on your own devices. But be aware, if a third device logs in, the first device automatically logs out. Now, what is the multi-view screens? If you log on to concerts.kizwi.com, and I did this through a computer using Chrome, you can see a video at the middle of the page. If you watch this video, after about two thirds of the video, you can test the multi-view screen and select the screens of your choice as I am doing now. I strongly suggest that you test this site first on whatever device you will be watching the concert from to see if you get good resolution and good streaming before you make the purchase to see if it all will be worth it. I tested on my computer, Galaxy phone and it all worked fine, but my iPhone did not support the multi-view screen. Probably because I have an old iPhone or iOS doesn't support multi-view, not sure, but I am happy that it works on my computer so I can connect it to my TV when watching the concert. And here's the exciting part, people who have purchased the ticket will be able to have access for the rewatch VOD. After the live streaming is over, and it may take a couple of days after the actual live show because the VOD needs review before being released, but rewatching the full concert will be possible as many times as you want it if you make the purchase. 
the VOD must be viewed through Weverse, but since for many of you, the concert will be taking place in the morning time or even after midnight, this rewatchable VOD is actually awesome. But you have to keep your membership with Weverse because once you unsubscribe, they lose your purchasing history. Anyway, there is only a week left for the Bang Bang Con the Live to air and I can't wait. I already purchased my ticket and waiting for that day to come. Please let me know if you have any other questions on the comments below regarding the concert and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Stay safe and have a great day guys.